Hello guys, welcome to another video making these diodes. This is three 14148 diodes in series. I can bring in the meter here and fill them on diode mode. Connect them up, and you can see that we got continuity between it. Now, if I take my finger and I just simply place it on the diode here, you can see that we're starting to drop. The harder I hold it, the more faster it drops. Take my finger off, and once it stabilizes, it'll actually start going back up. It will take a while to stabilize because it has a big massive aluminum on it. So today what I'm going to do, as I said these are three 1N4148 in series. I'm making ones with four 1N4148s in series. Now, as you see, as, as you saw me doing, I was just straightening up the sides, cleaning them up, and everything. And then I marked D on them. Now, this this symbolizes that these are going to be facing down, and these are actually what's going to be on the heat sink. So I want to keep these surfaces as neat as possible. As you can see, this is a TO22 style package, and you can see it's a bit taller and a bit wider than it. But that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get started on these and etch out everything I need to etch out for them. This is just JB Weld Epoxy and I'll show you exactly how I do that. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting grooves I'm going to cut grooves in the actual um, piece of aluminum. When I fill this up with epoxy, you'll see as I cut the groove, I'll actually cut it more at the bottom than at the top. So it's going to act like a finger basically holding on the bottom of it. So you can see how thin the top is, just that little piece there, but the bottom is big. And what that does is it just acts like a wedge and it holds these in. Once I put one on this side, it'll, it won't be able to come back out. What I'm doing now is I'm just roughing up the surface at the top here just so the epoxy has a bit more something to stick to. I don't want to mile up the surface too much where the actual diodes are going to sit. It's just going to be right around here. Um, when the diodes are sitting in there, I want them to pretty much be completely touching the aluminum here. So there's one complete. I still have my D on the bottom of it, back of it. And now I'll do the other one here. Alright, here we go. Um, I'm pretty much done etching in all the roughness in it for the epoxy to stick. I will polish this up once I get the epoxy on it because the epoxy kind of seeps off of it. Let's take a stone here. And I'll polish that so then that's smooth. This is the part I etched out in the metal here. So next, clean the parts here. I want to make sure that the parts are really clean here. I 
All right. Then we're going to take a piece of old tape here. You always keep old tape around for these kind of things here. And then... This is some double-sided sticky tape here. Cut it a bit too long here, but that's fine. I'm just folding the other double sided sticky tape on the other one. And then I'll stick it back down here. Alright, next thing to do is I have to mix with some epoxy here. So, let me go dump this washer out. So, I'm going to mix with some epoxy here. I'm not going to mix up too much right now because all I want to do is I want to put it around the edges here and make a U with it and build up the edges a little bit there. That way when I put the compound in and I put the diodes on top of it, I have a place to kind of center the diodes in. That should be more than enough there. Alright, and then I'm going to mix these together. Alright here, I'm going to take the epoxy now. I'm just going to put it along the edges here. It's not critical that you get it in these indents yet. You could do that afterwards with the second coat. You don't have to do the top yet. Um, Okay. All right. So I'm gonna let these dry, and then I'll bring you guys back in here once these are dry. Here are the diodes for it. One, one, one and forty-one, forty-eight. I'm just gonna assemble them together as like so. This should be able to fit in here with ease. and with a little bit of compound on them, it'll be fine. I'm going to fold all the ends up on them, and this prevents arcing from arcing to the case here, or connection to the case, shorting to the case. All right. That should be enough. One, three, four, five. Next, what I'm going to do is for four of them, I'm going to make the legs go out straight like so. You have to watch your clarity when you do this here. Two of them must be like this, and the other two must be the other way, in terms of anode and cathode. So this is where the middle ones here. You notice I folded the legs straight up in the sky, and then I right angled them right across. 
So then this here will line up to this one. Just like so. Because this, this angle here isn't straight up. It's at a little bit of an angle. So this one will fall right before it. So what I like to do is I like to just bend the legs down like this. And that way when it's on the bench I could actually hold it. And it'll be the right height. That's all that's needed on it. Taking a piece more sticky tape here. Give this to the camera. I can then use this to line up the rest of them. Alright, there's a third one in place. It can be a little bit of, um, fiddly to get all of them right and perfect. Once you get them when you get the hang of it, you can just hammer these out here. So now we're going to need one of these ones that is escape out of the uh, casing. That are going to escape out of the casing. Alright. And then this will just come right out. You don't want to put too much pressure on the packages of these uh, diodes here. They will just break on you. But the most important thing is to make sure the diodes are lined up the right way. Alright, so that's a rough placement of that last diode. It's not perfect yet. You can actually see how the diodes fit in the casing here. So it fits pretty good in there. Um, I'm going to have to edge out the sides just a little bit. That could be done with a knife, especially how it's not dry yet. Alright, so that fits in there a lot better. I'm just going to adjust the diode so they're roughly on the same plane, sitting by themselves here. And then they'll just sit in there like so. Once I glue down the glass bodies, I'll adjust these wires afterwards. Just as a check. Mm, 2.3. Perfect. So there's one set complete. This is roughly dry enough now, but I'm not going to put this in yet because I want to make these other set. So I'm going to turn off the camera here. I'm going to make the other set. And then I'll bring you back in when I'm doing that. Alright, here guys, it's been about five minutes here. And he soldered up the last diode pack. This one was done a bit cleaner than this one here. 
this is the one I did with you and this is the one I did but nevertheless they'll both get fixed there's some problems with both of them but that's once the epoxy on top has set so first thing I'm going to do So I'm just going to rough up the epoxy that's already there. I don't really have to take it off the um, the stands here. Um, I did want to clean up the diodes here. And clean up the inside of the casing one more time here. Next what I'm going to do, using some compound here, and I'm going to take some compound here, and I'm just going to lay it out here. The, le the least amount of compound you use, the better. Then I'm going to put some compound now at the bottom of this. And I'm going to try not to get any compound at the top of it. You want the epoxy to stick to the diodes. Okay, so there's one. I'll place this down here. This goes in this one here. Next, we're going to mix up some epoxy and we're going to put some, the epoxy over top of it. All the epoxy has to do is it just has to cover the top of the diodes, it doesn't have to cover any of the contacts yet. Okay. So we're going to mix up some quick epoxy here. And I'm just going to take the epoxy now and string it right across the diodes right to the other end alright so we want to make sure the diodes are sitting pretty flat with each other so you're going to put pressure just on the tops of them here and we're going to elevate the bottom of the legs here we're going to use wedges to do this here So once this kind of sets here, I'm going to reform the legs here. Alright, here we are again, back here. The epoxy, it's been about two hours or so. And the epoxy is pretty hard now. Right. Um, we could take the meter here, and we could actually check these again. So 2.3 and nothing, 2.385, let's check this again, 8887, eight, so we're pretty close on them. And here we have nothing, so we're still good with all that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pop over the beep We'll pop open these solder joints again and re-solder them accordingly. Try not to get the diodes too hot here. The epoxy actually just cracked there, so just gotta be careful of it. Okay, so that's one done. Now it's time to do this one. This one's pretty good how it is right now. I'm just going to fold in the legs 
and just solder it up. I'm just going to mix up another back batch of epoxy and then I'm going to put it over top of this. The important thing is to get the epoxy down underneath the contacts or at least use a piece of tape and isolate it. Alright, I'm just going to take a little bit of epoxy here. Alright, so I'm just trying to push the epoxy under the legs. So I'm going to go ahead and let this sit here and hopefully get dry and I'll come in with another layer of epoxy over top of this. Okay we're back here and uh, as you can see the top epoxy has set at least um, hardened up. Um, I took the file while off camera here and I just filed out these indents here a bit more so now it goes through from the bottom all the way to the top here and what we're going to do right now is I'm going to mix up some more epoxy and I'm going to put that from the bottom all the way on the top and all over and then I'll stick it onto this peep, um, tape uh, this tape is brand new I just suck it down on top of the old one so we'll do that when you stick it down on the tape what I suggest to do um, from these ones here is uh, well I also clean up these ones the bottom of them you can see the part I filed out here and some on this side here then this one you can, this is just um, I think that's because the metal bent but you can see this notch here and this notch here and this notch here and a little one here and these would actually hold the epoxy down to the aluminum because the epoxy and the aluminum don't really stick too well together mm -hmm. so what I suggest to do is fill this with epoxy fill this with epoxy, fill the two sides with epoxy then you stick it down and you make sure you press it down so it gets the bottom kind of pushed out whatever left at the bottom then you could take it and you could put more epoxy on the top and kind of cover the whole thing with it and mix some more epoxy here and then I will lay it on there one thing I am going to do before I lay more epoxy on it is I'm going to check it it's on arms so 2.3 nothing 2.3 and nothing so that's good there. clean off my mixing stick here this is a professional mixing stick here by the way alright so, I'm going to take epoxy now, and I'm going to put it down in this crack here, and put it down in this crack here. So you can see how they're down in the cracks. 
I'm not trying to get epoxy on here, but it doesn't really matter because all this has to be sanded off anywhere, anyways afterwards. So then I'm going to get the other side here now. Alright, so it's all filled in the gap there. And then I'm going to place this down. And I'm going to flatten it right on the table there. And then I could just scoop over the excess um, epoxy here. Probably focus you in on that. Sorry about that. Alright. And then that one's kind of more or less okay there now. So I'm going to do this one here. I'm going to do this the same way. Probably focusing on the empty So let me take this again. Take this again. Push this down on the CD now. And then I'm going to go finish it down. I'm not going to have any other gaps in the diagram. So I'm going to take the epoxy all the way down. Alright. You can push down the seat and you can push down the seat. And on these, this one is okay for me. It's, uh, it's covered pretty nicely. So this one's okay for me. But this one here is a bit rough and things. It's not really built up as much. So I'll probably end up adding more epoxy to this one as well. These two are pretty much set and these two will get more epoxy. Um, but once this sets it should just peel off the um, paper tape. Uh, if it doesn't come off too easily you could just take like um, a knife and just scrape it off. Be careful not to scrape the bottom of the um, aluminum. You don't want to really indent this. You want to keep this as flat as possible. So in the case of this one, where you have three diodes, one diode will enter in here, exit at the top. This diode will then come down here and go into the other diode. But the other diode would actually exit out the top side of the um, casing here. So what I had to do is I bent down this diode lead, so it kind of makes a U-bend, a U-turn, and it comes back down, and it'll come back down out the bottom. Now, at no point can this short to the case, because I actually laid a bead of epoxy down before I even put the diode in, and that epoxy was set and dry. So you have to make sure, because in most cases, the case of this will be connected to a heatsink and that heatsink will either be positive, negative, or more likely it will be grounded. In my case the heatsink is grounded, it's connected to the case of the amplifier and the case is grounded not only by mains power but it's connected to the capacitor center and the transformer center tap. So with that I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this works for you if, it, if that's what you're planning to do with it. Um, feel free to leave any comments below on the screen down there. Or I should say down there. Um, and like the video and subscribe for more stuff about this. Um, as you can see, the driver board video, I have to still put on the outputs on this board here. I'm using the here. I still have to put the outputs on. I've laid them all out up here. I've laid them all out up here.
and they're all ready to go in so I'll be filming that very soon and uh, testing this crossing my fingers hopefully nothing blows up so if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe and have a nice day thanks for watching